Our top story this hour, Chief Justice Mokhweng Mokhweng is lashing out against those criticizing him over his controversial COVID-19 vaccine triple six remarks. He says he will not compromise his religion for anyone. He was addressing the media during the 2019-2020 annual Judiciary Report presentation. I'm crying unto God. Whether you call it politics or not, it's neither here nor there for me. And I won't stop doing it. I'm crying unto God. If there is any vaccine, I don't want it. I'm crying unto God for... This is the, the end time according to we Christians. So if there is any vaccine with triple six, I want God to destroy it. If there is any vaccine meant to, in, to corrupt the DNA of people, I'm asking God to interrupt with it. Any clean vaccine, they must produce it quickly. We, people need that for their own health. So if anybody's going, don't pray about against triple six. Don't pray against Satan. Don't pray against corruption of the DNA. Oh, they can criticize until, until, until. I'm not worried about that. All right, just to remind you, let's take you back to what exactly the Chief Justice said when he was praying yesterday. I ask you to have mercy on South Africa, Father. This demon called COVID-19, Lord God Almighty, with the sword of justice you have given me, I slay this giant now in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, the people of South Africa and Africa will not be killed in their numbers by this COVID-19, just as you answered our prayers to cancel the over million graves that were dug to consume your people. Lord God Almighty, whatever phase is said to be coming, Lord, I judge it, I run it down in the name of Jesus. I lock out every demon of COVID-19. I lock out any vaccine that is not of you. If there be any vaccine that is of the devil, meant to infuse triple six in the lives of people, meant to corrupt their DNA, any such vaccine, Lord God Almighty, may it be destroyed by fire. Well, the Chief Justice has never been able to keep his opinions to himself. Alison Tilly from Judges Matter says the Chief Justice has never followed the basic principle of judges not commenting in public. I'm assuming that he wouldn't have been there if it hadn't been for his role as the Chief Justice. And there's a principle that um, it may be, it's, it's a bit old fashioned, but, uh, the, and the principle is that judges speak through their judgments. So in other words, if, 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 if you're a judge, you tend to avoid making comments in public, um, mostly because you need to be seen as completely neutral, um, and, and people really need to know you through what it is you say um, um, as a lawyer. The, the Chief Justice has not followed that principle uh, at any time during his tenure, and he's always maintained, um, in particular, that, that he is entitled to, uh, to pray, uh, certainly... At, well, the know, Chief Justice has responded. He says there's no manual for how a judge should behave. Oh, this is how a chief justice is supposed to behave. This is a, how a judge is supposed to behave. Where is the manual for that? Where do you get it from? What are you trying to have us comply with? I'm not a conformist. Our country, our constitution does not demand of us to be that way. No, to... Well, let's take you to Midrand Live, where our reporter, Slindelo Masigani, has been following that story for us. Now, Slee, obviously, the Chief Justice raising his voice when he was responding to the critics about his prayer yesterday. Tell us more about what he said for those who missed it. Well, Masikho, I think in a word, uh, to summarize what the Chief Justice said um, in his address today was that he was unapologetic about his prayer that uh, has been making the rounds, of course, on social media um, around the sentiments he made with reference to a vaccine that could possibly put uh, the Antichrist in people's DNA and possibly harm them. In his defense, he said that um, he never stated it as a fact um, that there was such a vaccine, but that he was merely praying for any such vaccine that if it is uh, being manufactured, that it should never make it to the shores of South Africa. And in his uh, 
um, uh, in his defense, essentially, he was standing his ground, making, re making reference to the Constitution. Uh, Maseko is saying that nowhere in the Constitution does it bar him um, as a member of the judiciary to not be able uh, to express uh, his religion, um, his thoughts, as well as his opinion, that as a South African um, himself, he has... Uh, he does enjoy those particular, particular rights of freedom of expression, freedom of opinion, um, and especially freedom um, of religion. He also referred, uh, Mr. Ho, to the preamble of South Africa, or the preamble of the Constitution, rather, saying that um, it says right in the, in the beginning that God must protect us and bless us all. He also referred to the national anthem in particular, saying that the anthem itself is a prayer uh, for God to protect us all. Um, he also says that uh, people in South Africa seem to always refer to the state as a secular state. And he says that just because South Africa is a secular state, um, it, it does not mean that it's anti-religion. Um, it just... Uh, refrains, or should I say, uh, is against the imposition of one religion um, against another. Uh, he, also uh, he also said that uh, he understands that uh, prayer in South Africa just seems to be quite controversial, but that he himself uh, will not pretend to be something he's, uh, uh, pretend to be one thing in private rather, and, and be something else in public, and that he is unapologetically a Christian, and if he wants to pray, he's going to do so. Mm. Well, Slindela, I think, you know, there was one question that you asked um, as a follow-up to the Chief Justice, which is a very important question. I think the Chief Justice not understanding that we are, we are not uh, South Africans, or rather his critics are not exactly saying that he is wrong in praying. They are saying that he should have possibly used other words because possibly there are people who look at him, a man in his stature and his, in his position, and think that they shouldn't take a vaccine because there's triple six in it. Yes, that is certainly one of the questions I raised uh, to the Chief Justice because we have seen a lot of uh, 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 civil society members, a lot of people um, really kind of judging, I think, the, the Chief Justice on his sentiments, or should I say the, pr the, the prayer that he said. Um, and uh, one of those organizations is uh, Africa for Palestine that has actually already laid a complaint um, against the Chief Justice um, to the Judicial Commission uh, saying that, uh, you know, uh, his uh, sentiments around uh, what they say, his pro-Israeli sentiments um, are, are problematic. And now they're saying that they're looking uh, to speak to their legal team around these recent sentiments as well um, that uh, the Chief Justice has said around the vaccine uh, because we've also seen members of the minister ministerial committee actually um, that is advising government um, on uh, their response to the pandemic saying that a man in his position and uh, the sentiments that he's raised um, could possibly be misleading. But those are just some of the criticism, criticisms as well as the debates um, around uh, the role of the Chief Justice and whether, um, as a Chief Justice, uh, he should be separating his religious beliefs um, from the office. But he's adamant in saying that no way in the Constitution um, does it bar him um, as a member of the judiciary um, from expressing his religious beliefs and, and from certainly praying as well. So um, I think we're going to see a lot, of, a lot more debate um, unfolding in the days to come. Mm, and that's the law, I guess. But also, Slindalo, you were there. Basically, the Chief Justice invited the media to give us a report, the annual report on how the judiciary has performed. Obviously, this took precedence because of what happened yesterday. But what did he say specifically to some people in the judiciary uh, facing criminal charges themselves. Well, you, you know, um, in terms of some of the complaints and, uh, and, and allegations being leveled against uh, some members of the judiciary, some who are facing charges in court, um, others who are facing complaints uh, with the ju Judicial Commission, he said that, you know, the public is more than welcome. They have that right to lay those complaints, but saying that, you know, like um, other members of society, uh, those in the judiciary are also subject to fair processes, that they are subject to the laws of this country, and that uh, you know, they should face um, fair trials just like any other member. And, but saying that this does not um, hinder on the integrity of the, uh, of the judiciary, saying that it doesn't hinder on its work. And like you said, unfortunately, uh, much of this uh, presser uh, was about him addressing some of his sentiments around the vaccine. And, uh, you know, as the media, we, we really did not have much of a chance to go into 
um, the merits of this particular report that I have right here with me, the Judicial Annual Report. But uh, in summary, he said that the work of the judiciary um, uh, this year has certainly been hampered by the pandemic, by the COVID-19 pandemic itself, um, saying that, uh, you know, the pandemic has really uh, forced the judiciary itself to look at its processes, uh, to look at how it's going to have to look at digitizing uh, the, the processes and uh, saying that, uh, you know, they're still compiling a report around the effects of the pandemic in terms of the work of the judiciary, uh, but that the picture certainly doesn't look bleak, does look bleak rather. Mm. Well, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. Slindala Masigani coming to us live from Madrid. There's